Hi guys. I'm trying to think of a story. Oh yeah, that interview I had at that day program. That was a interesting interview. Uh, apparently, me. Okay, so my dad was looking at day programs for me because I was interested in them. So we came across this one. And you had to go through an administrator. I forget the name of the person. So me and my dad went down to the center, looked at it, and saw the program. It was full of girls and that, so it was nice. It was females, all females. I went there, checked it out. I liked what I saw. I was very happy. And then they took me and my dad in the interview room and asked questions like what does your daughter like to do she's good at reading good at leisure activities good at arts and crafts that kind of thing okay and then they were asking what my pet peeves are and I told them what they were and I do not want to say out loud right now it's kind of embarrassing so they said to my dad after the interview, blah, 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 they'll get back to my dad in five to seven business days. That's how it works. Then suddenly, my dad received a call. And they asked my dad, does your daughter have outburst? And I'm like, oh, God, do they have to ask that? It's so embarrassing. Do they have to know that? Because someone... He used to work with me, a one-on-one -on -one worker. I'm not going to give out her name because probably she's watching this or, or whatever. I'm not going to say the name. Said that I have outbursts. I'm like, how does she know that? I was very upset. I thought I was getting something. I thought I was going to get somewhere. It was really annoying. And I'm like, yeah, maybe. What does that got to do with an interview, eh? Do they have to ask that? Oh, it was so embarrassing. And then my dad said, I'm sorry, I got bad news. I said, sit me down and tell me about it. He told me I was not allowed in that program because they were told that I have outbursts. Psychological outbursts. I do suffer depression. I suffer mild panic attacks. They've gone away for a while. They're not going to... They're, they're seldom. But that wasn't the point. Why tell this person who doesn't even know me? Well, no, I sort of knew this person because I seen her in the other program I was in. That kind of blew my mind. But then I got accepted in this program, which I was very happy. It was in Carleton Heights Community Center, and I liked it. So I was in a program, but it was full of boys. And I'm like, Dad, are you seriously going to put me in a program with boys? There was a few girls, but mostly boys. Like, I don't know why. I don't know. Don't ask. It was just like, why would they ask if I have outbursts? And suddenly, me and my dad looked at the program. He said, if you feel comfortable, you can go. But I, I accepted it, and then the pair of transport drivers picked me up. Then I had this driver who took me to a day program a while ago and asked me, did I fart? I said, I'm not going to answer that. I refuse to answer that. This is a cab driver. Don't ask me that. And then, this is a paratransport driver asking me if I fart because he had to roll the window down. I said, what's that got to do with it? And then he keeps driving and he said, it stinks. I'm rolling the window down. I said, this is insulting. And you're not supposed to ask your uh, passengers <laughs> personal questions. So I told my dad, and he called the day program I was in, explaining why is the cab driver asking 
personal bodily function questions about me that I do not wish to share. I mean, you kept asking me that. I'm like, God, can you ask me something else? You're like, asking me really personal questions. I refuse to answer a paratranspo driver when they ask me those questions. I said, that's personal and I don't wish to get into that. I was really upset that they said that. I said, this is rude. So, I, my dad told the company and the man didn't pick me up anymore. It was other people. But ask me if I fart, like, come on, are you a cab driver or what? Why do you need to know that about me? Is it, is it their job to ask that of me? I don't know. It's just rude. I mean, that's rude. I'm taking a cab ride. I'm paying the cab fare. Just take me to the bloody program. It was annoying. Like, how many cab drivers have asked you personal questions? That's just too much. They get a little personal, the paratranspole drivers. I said, they're getting a little personal here, man. And we stopped with this, because he kept rolling the window whenever I was in his car. It's just like, why are you doing that to me? Do you think I'm going to break wind or something? I think he refers to, did I fart or something. That's why he's rolling the window down, but... Yes, I had problems letting off air, I had bodily function sounds, I had gastro tummy issues at the time. I told him that, and he said that it stinks and I'm going to roll the window down whenever I went in this cab. So I found that insulting. I said, don't mention my bodily function noises. Well, that's personal. And I was very upset, and my dad was. That is a true story, by the way.